Everyone has fantasies of winning the lottery and becoming a multimillionaire overnight. People have a delusional belief that if they work hard and save money, they will become successful one day. But that's a mere fantasy. Whether you're desiring to become a successful entrepreneur or you're dreaming of having enough money to buy beautiful homes, powerful cars, and lavish vacations, it's only possible with some strategy and smart work. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about the 10 shocking things poor people do that effectively keep them daydreaming their whole lives. By the end of this video, you'll come to know about the real hurdles stopping you from becoming a successful person. Number 1. They buy things they can't afford because being poor is embarrassing. How many poor folks do you see walking around with the latest iPhone? Yes, too many. That's because no matter how you're dressed or how much food you're eating, holding an iPhone makes you feel less like a leper in society. Poor people are prideful. They despise being penniless. So, to prevent others from thinking they're simply not that smart, they purchase stuff they don't actually need to avoid looking poor. They purchase everything that makes them appear rich. Purses, shoes, gadgets, groceries, designer clothes, and so on. We're all aware that it's irrational. Every other poor person with a great phone is aware of this. But our egos aren't aware of this. All our egos know is that if we have that one item, we don't look like losers and we don't feel like losers. And this is the most common thing that will never let you get rich in life. Number two, they keep poor company. To put it another way, they do not go where the money is. If you want money, go where it is. Some professions, enterprises, and places provide excellent opportunities to generate a lot of money and meet and work with significant individuals. When you socialize with the wealthy, their riches will inevitably rub off on you. Why stay in a job or company if it is not getting you closer to the quality of life you desire? Make a change. It's never too late to follow the money. The sooner you start, the better is the possibility to get back on that track. Number three, poor people prefer watching TV over reading books. While rich people are educating themselves by reading different books and trying to understand things they couldn't before, poor people enjoy themselves by watching Netflix and chilling. When it comes to the poor, they usually prefer watching a romantic movie over reading a romantic novel. And this is what makes their thinking and goals limited to one and only one destination, entertainment. Even in some cases where rich people read books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or The Richest Man in Babylon to increase their wealth, poor people prefer to read suspense novels. Number four, they get the money and spend it all. Sadly, it's true. The faster poor people get the money, the faster they spend it. And it's not always paid on bills or food. Instead, they just plan things according to their income. No matter what the situation is, they always prefer to fulfill their desires, whether it's new clothes or a toy for their kids. And unfortunately, they are stuck within an income loop, thus making them limited to their expenses. No doubt, they work for their money the same as the rich, but even though they know that it is not how much money you make, but how much of it you keep and multiply that makes you rich, poor people still cannot apply that principle. On the other hand, the rich work for money and spend their money to work for them by using the same principle. Number five, the poor don't recognize potential money. In other words, they are unable to see the money that has not yet been converted into pure cash. There are many useless, unused goods in the possession of poor people that might be sold for money. Similarly, many have skills, knowledge, or even hobbies that could be turned into money makers. However, they do not activate the capability of packaging and converting these intangible goods into physical assets that people desire and are willing to pay for, as they should. You can build wealth by carefully channeling your passion, skills, and abilities toward enhancing others' lives, such as via the supply and goods and services that make life simpler for others. If you're loving this video, then make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment. Number six, the poor lack money-making ideas. A poor person will always be in the rat race to fill their stomach. And when this becomes a permanent mantra, they become unable to think outside the box. According to analysts, if you can generate workable money ideas, you can become rich. You are truly poor only when you lack ideas. If finance is the issue, approach a benefactor or financier with your workable proposal. 
If necessary, explain what results or profit you expect and how they can benefit from it. An excellent, viable, money-making idea that is well-packaged and presented will always get the attention it deserves. But again, this external help is only possible if you've enough money to leverage your time and energy. Number seven, they don't plan or set goals. Rich people are goal setters. They list what they want to achieve daily, weekly, and monthly and tell you where they want to be in 20 years. On the other hand, poor people just sort of wing it. 95% of the poor people in the world have no life plan. Without a blueprint, without long-term goals, we are like leaves on a fall day floating in the air aimlessly. Writes Tom Corley in Change Your Habits, Change Your Life. So, the reality is that you don't have to be rich to make a plan, but you do need to have a plan if you want to be rich. And that's what poor people don't care about. Number 8. There's no emergency fund. What happens in the case of an emergency? What if someone gets a toothache that is so severe that they have no choice but to see the dentist? What happens if their vehicle breaks down? What happens if their roof has to be replaced entirely? What happens if they are evicted from their rental home? Poor people simply don't give a second thought. When a notion like that enters their minds, they immediately distract themselves with a television program, food, or by purchasing something they don't really need. It doesn't make any sense at all. We are not gullible, and we are well aware that we should have an emergency fund. However, knowing that we don't have one and considering the possibility of establishing one lets the poor people feel guilt, humiliation, and worry. And society encourages us to avoid all of these feelings. Whether you're doing well or not, simply bury it. If you ever face such a situation, you must have the ability to deal with it on the spot. Number nine, they don't ask for help. In the case of any emergency, the smart thing to do would be to ask for help managing your money. But to do that means you'll have to admit that you're not doing a good job. When you're poor, life is about not letting anyone else know exactly how poor you are. When you're poor, you hide your bad money decisions. When you live in poverty, you spend most of your money acting like you don't live in poverty. Now, a person who is being logical would think, okay, I know why I never have any money. I just need to create new habits. Unfortunately, admitting this is shameful and hard. It means being honest is challenging under the most specific circumstances. These illogical habits are often passed down from generation to generation. We learn these money habits from a young age. They are hard to break away from, really hard. Number 10, the poor expect a financial miracle. This is the most disgusting mindset of many people who just don't believe in hard work. Instead, they are always searching for some miracle that will make them a millionaire in one night. While the rich work to get lucky, the poor wait to get lucky. The poor embrace get-rich-quick activities such as gambling and playing the lottery while hoping for sudden wealth that never comes. They end up making others richer as they get poorer. The fact that casinos are thriving businesses shows that there are more losers than winners. And if you found this video useful, then you'll love these. And be sure to like this video to let the YouTube algorithm know that you'd like to see more videos like this one.